Yeah, you know, I've had a surprisingly um, good buildup, which is pretty rare for me. I'm usually troubled by a few niggles here and there or illness or something along those lines. But it's been a pretty clean buildup since Ogden, which was about five weeks ago. Just been in Boulder, keeping my head down, training away with, with um, Dan and Brad. Um, and I've come here healthy and uh, with a pretty big goal. End of the day, I just need a race like I have been all year, regardless of whether I'm labeled a fav favorite or not. I would come here and with the same goal, with the same strategy. Um, obviously, I do want to land on the podium, but uh, I don't feel pressure that I really have to. Yeah, I've made a lot of progress um, on the mountain bike this year. I think a lot of that's due to spending time in Stellenbosch, South Africa last winter. They have great trails out there and a really great mountain bike in community which I was able to capitalize on and um, just feel more comfortable on my bike and just learn how to corner better and everything that goes along with it. And I think the little improvements I've made there have really been huge gains while racing. And I feel comfortable now on that segment of the, of the race to really push it and try, you know, make as much time as I can. ITU, you know, it's super high profile, very tense, a lot of pressure. Um, obviously you're, you're competing to go to the Olympics or to try and gain spots for the Olympics. Whereas Xterra, for me, it's way more relaxed. Um, it's, I kind of just started it as kind of just to broaden my, I guess, horizon within triathlon and just to do something for fun. Um, though, since I've actually been successful at it, I guess there has been that added ad element of pressure um, while racing. But uh, no, if, for the most part, I find it more relaxed fun and of course there's the challenge of getting through the mountain bike portion hassle-free and without m crashing or doing anything destructive to myself. Yeah I think Sunday it's going to be a really competitive race you know with Nikki Samuels here and Catherine Mueller, Barbara Ravirez they all have an ITU background also so they're very strong swimmers um, and runners and they're both well all of them are good on the mountain bike too so I think it's going to take a pretty perfect race from from whoever crosses that line first. Um, in terms of myself, you know, to have a strong swim, come out of the water in the top 10, get through the ride without any major problems. You know, that's the biggest factor is flatting, breaking a chain or anything along those lines. And then just staying strong on the run and uh, staying hydrated. It's pretty hot and humid here. So yeah, honestly, just a solid performance in each three parts of the race. For this course, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest factor here is the heat and humidity, just to stay hydrated and to um, take in some calories. I, that was a big mistake I made last year and ended up bonking maybe a K from the finish and got passed, and that was the difference between second and third. So um, my biggest tip would be to stay hydrated and to take a gel or an extra gel than you would expect to take in the race just to stay fueled.